Today we're going to add a little bit of contrast to our 2018 Mustang GT by tinting all of our lights. This custom tint kit is going to fit your 2018 Mustang GT or EcoBoost. Now the tint is going to be pretty self-explanatory where it goes, but there are two options for the headlights. You have this tint here. Now this will tint the entire headlight. Now this is probably going to look the best, but you will lose a little bit of light output. Now if you don't want to lose the light output, it includes these as well. What these are going to do is tint the orange reflector and basically the corner lights of your headlights. So you don't lose any light output, but you still get a little bit of a blacked out look. For the third brake light, you have these two options here. This one here, the thinner one will be for your fastback Mustang. The larger one here will be for your convertible. Now it doesn't matter where you start. In our case, we're going to start with the front here and do our marker light fog lights and our headlights. And also in this car, I'm actually not going to do the whole headlight. We're just going to do the corner tint here to keep the headlights so we don't lose any kind of light output with it. Now, when you're starting this thing, the first thing you want to do, make sure the lenses are completely clean, especially this time of year if you're driving outside. Also, if they're cold, let them warm up. Or just give them a quick pass with a heat gun just to warm the lenses before we install the decals. What I'm going to show you now is a way to install it. So I'm not saying this is the 100% the correct way. I know there's professional tinters out there that can do a better job than me. And I'll be the first to admit I'm actually not that good at this. But if I can do it, you probably can too. Now what we're going to do is take some of this fluid here. Now what this is, this is water, a little bit of soap, and a little bit of alcohol mixed in with it. We're going to spray right where we're going to be putting the tint. Next, grab the tint from the page. Now be careful, everything is labeled as driver. Everything on this side is driver except for this one here. So just make sure you get the correct one. And it's just a sticker, so just peel it off. We're gonna spray a little bit of fluid on the sticker itself. We're basically gonna line it up. All right, now we're gonna use a little bit of heat just to get it to start to adhere, we can start working out some of the bubbles we have. Make sure you have a squeegee. A felt tip will work even better. That way you don't damage the vinyl. If you do get some tiny bubbles, do not worry about it because trust me, they will come out eventually. Just try to make sure you don't have any really large ones. And if you don't have a heat gun, the hair dryer works fine as well. If you're using a heat gun, Make sure you keep it on low so you don't damage the vinyl or the paint. You know, the same process with the marker fog light. All right, moving on now to the side mirrors if your car is equipped. Again, be very careful to make sure you grab the correct decals because they are labeled and they are very similar looking. I don't want to waste your time trying to put the wrong one on. This one's probably the easiest one to do. Make sure you don't get a bubble right here in the middle. Now we can move on to the rear of the car. Okay, moving on to the rear bumper, we're going to start here with reflectors on the side. It's easy to tell when you're getting close with these because the embossed numbers from the part number will actually start to come up through the vinyl. We're going to move on now to the rear reflectors and then the reverse light. All 
Moving on to the reverse light, again, same process. Now we left the taillights till near the end on purpose because honestly this is the hardest part of the installation. The 2018 taillights are very intricate. There's a lot of different curves and different levels and different planes here that make putting on the vinyl kind of a challenge. Now when you're doing the taillights, there's a couple things I can tell you. First of all, you will need heat. Other places you can kind of get away without it. This is not one of those places. You'll need a heat gun or a hair dryer to make these curves to make the vinyl actually bend. Now if you do make a mistake doing this, which is very possible, the manufacturer includes instructions where you can get replacement stickers for just the taillights for far, far less than a new kit. Now, as usual, we're gonna start with the application fluid. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do here is sort of get it as centered as possible. We're gonna start with this flat section back here. We wanna make sure it lines up with everything first. Once we have that, we're actually going to use a little bit of water to clean off some of the fluid and get it to start sticking. Basically, you want to concentrate like right here, the center section where there's no corners yet. You just want to kind of brush it with heat. Don't use too much because it will cause the vinyl to wrinkle. Once you have that, we'll start with this piece right here. Let's give it a little hint. Maybe even you use your finger here. Squeegee will fit as well. We're going to start by making sure this is stuck pretty good. All right, now this is the hardest part. This angle here is the sharpest angle, which you sort of have to do is with a little bit of heat in your finger, it's just work this over. Now with that pretty much seated, we're going to work our way down, we'll get that pushed in, and then work the panel downward. Yeah, and I'm only spraying water here so I don't damage the vinyl as I just kind of stretch it out with my fingers here. And you want to start in the middle and start working this curve over. Just a little bit of heat and roll it. Again, don't worry about real tiny little bubbles. They will absolutely come out. Once you're out in the sun a little bit, just make sure there's no big creases, no big fingers. You take your time, repeat the process with the other two lenses. Now, if you're done the tail lights, this part's gonna seem easy. The last part is gonna be the third brake light. The only thing with this, if you have an extra set of hands, it's easier if you have somebody on both sides of the car to line it up. and your installation's finished. When it comes to tin, a lot of people ask about the light outputs. We're gonna show you the light outputs starting in the back. First, we're gonna show you what it looks like with your headlights on, and now with the brakes on. As you can see, still plenty of light output.
Now, like I mentioned in the introduction, there's gonna be two options for the headlights. And over here on the driver's side, we get the tint that basically is gonna go over the orange marker light and kind of black out the headlight. Now, the other option is gonna be the full tint. It's gonna basically tint the entire headlight. And that does give it a sinister look, but your light output's gonna go down very noticeably with that tint installed. Now, here's a comparison of the headlights lit up, the tint versus no tint. Now, as you can see, a huge, huge difference in light output. Here you can see the light output against the wall. Now I'm gonna cover up the driver's side headlight and use just the passenger light. And you can see how much the light output changes. And the tinted headlights do look good, but if you're gonna drive your car at night, I would not suggest it. Tinting the lights definitely adds a nice custom touch to our 2018 Mustang, and by adding a little more black to it, it works really well with our Orange Fury paint. Now, as far as the installation goes, the only tools required are going to be a squeegee and a heat gun. And as far as time, I'm actually not going to give you one. This is an install where you definitely want to take your time and make sure everything is done properly, but before you'll know it, you'll be back on the road.